one and two in the back. Yeah. So I need one of you to stand close, and one, one of you to stand close, and one of you to stand far. I'm gonna stand close. Okay, just keep backing up. Back up to the table, right? Yeah, perfect. Can you just move to the side for one second? Just try to score here. Don't hit me in the face. Okay. There you go. So that moves. Okay. Now you. Snap up. Come on, camera. There you go. So what are the differences between how far and how close you shot? You know, the further one was more risky, right? But he felt better because it was a lot further. Um, the close one, you're going to get that every time, and Dave will kind of like link his stock for you. Okay, so how do you guys think this relates to finance? How risky do you think the first shot was? Really the first shot, right? Really risky? If he got that in like he did, he gets a big reward. So how risky do you think the first one is? Uh, the second shot, a very close shot. How risky do you guys think it is? Not risky. Not risky. Right? It was super no. risky. Yeah, it's usually a guaranteed return, and usually are always guaranteed the point. So I'm going to relate this to blue chip and penny stock. So the close shot represents the penny chip, or sorry, the blue chip, and the uh, the far, farther shot represent, represents penny stocks. So who here would take a uh, $1,000 for an 80% chance of getting it? or one million dollars for a one per chance, one percent chance of getting it. The first one. First one. Yeah. Eighty percent. Eighty percent chance. <laughs> Would anyone here take the million dollars and risk the one percent? No one. What about three so, percent? No. No. Well, three risk percent. is still too high. You've yeah. got to wait. I know people that would have taken that three percent chance. You got to weigh your risk tolerance. So would you, like? Want to get a guaranteed thousand dollars for a chance in a million? You're gonna learn that from people. Like it's different person to person. You'll learn that later from people. Sorry. Yeah. So blue chip stocks are usually a uh, low risk and it's like a small return, so the close shot. And penny stocks are high risk, high reward, and that's the further shot. Going on some examples of blue chip stocks and going further into it. So blue chip stocks are really like the leading stock in their sector. Penny stocks are like the fresh stocks that just came out. Uh, blue chip stocks are the millions and, uh, are the companies that make millions and billions of dollars uh, each and every year from the product they, they serve out. Uh, and this makes them reliable and safe for investors to invest in their company because it's not going to take a steep dive and they're going to lose money out of it. While penny stocks on the other hand are like the complete opposite, they're fresh, and it's a gamble for them, really. That's some examples of Okay, so risk tolerance of blue chip stocks. So usually blue chip stocks are really low risk, but they always uh, have like a guaranteed return. So they're usually companies that have been in the business for a long time. They make billions and millions of dollars every year. And there are companies like McDonald's, like Brooks has said, Coca-Cola. And usually it's over a long period of time. And it, you put a lot of money because these, uh, these stocks cost a lot. So you're holding on to these stocks for a long time because you're guaranteed pretty much money, right? So it'd be like the scenario I gave you, $1,000 for an 8% chance of getting it. Because any stock in the, in the market could crash, right? But there is a really good chance it's going to go up. All right. So, anybody here? Have you watched Wall Street? Anybody? Yeah. Anybody else? You see how much cocaine he does? Okay. So, main light down there. All right. All right. Getting off topic. So, the main topic, the main idea of that movie is this penny stock because he's flipping these uh, wannabe companies, and as they grow better and better, he's getting more profit off it. So as you can see, this is an example of blue chip talk, stocks, right? And you'll see the, the, the steady incline over time as it goes up. But this is a penny stock. As you can see, it's very rough and jagged with very steep uh, highs and very low lows. All right. <laughs> yeah, so. And imagine watching that and thinking, that's my money going up. And then 10 minutes later, it's way down. It's like you got to weigh that with your risk tolerance. All right, so a prime example of penny stock is weed stocks. These are very new to the market and they're very risky at times. As you can see, as it just goes up and shoots right back down and up and then up again. So that's a very good example of a penny stock is very, just going up and it's just showing your reward, but also there's downside to it as it can go straight down and lose all your money at once. So these are very risky because they're very new to the market and also the new laws that are coming about with legalization and whatnot. So, um, and also the expectations of these stocks are very high because they want people want them to do good. And since now weed is legalized in Canada, they're going to be see a big, huge change in the weed stock market. All right, so technology stocks. These stocks are very, um, are like the Blackberries and the Nokias, the very old companies that are still in the market, but not are doing too good like Apple or Samsung. 
So they pertain, like the wheat stocks, it's a very sh sharp high and very low lows. So at times, you wonder, you know why um, these companies go up and down? It's because things like new phones coming out, like the brand new iPhone X just came out and it just tanked all the iPhone 8 stock. So things are going up and going right back down as well. Now, so new, new, tech, here, new, phone. new technology tends to swing in and out the, the market. So say we have this iPhone 6, say it was brand new, and you probably picked this over any phone at the time, right? But since it's years later, new phones have come out, new technology is in this way. So would you rather take the iPhone X or the iPhone 6? Anyway, say something. The iPhone X sells really good. Yeah, thank, you, thank you. Yeah. Exactly. Since this new technology, people want into it. They want yeah, it. Yeah, it does sound good. It's funny. You had a headphone check to hear it. <laughs> yeah, but at the, the time, the, the iPhone 6 was the new thing, and everybody was wanting it. Now it got pushed out by the X. All right, so fundamentally looking at these stocks, it's just looking at the stock for what they have. So like what we were just talking about with the iPhone, instead of looking at the stock going up itself, you're just looking at what's new that, to come to that company, like the brand new iPhone X, instead of looking at the iPhone 8 that came out at the same time. So just overall, you're just looking at uh, the different things that uh, come to that company instead of the market itself. All right, so I just have some questions. Would you guys ever invest in a penny stock? Anybody? Okay, know. red shirt. Like red shirt. Sure. Would you ever invest in penny stock? Do you like risk? Yeah, sure. Do you like the right red? Yeah, sure. You would? Like man. Even though it's really risky? Yeah. Would you invest in penny stocks in 20 years? Um, Say when you're when financially you're stable, you yeah. have kids uh, and stuff. Maybe. When you're my age, go Yeah. Full. You have kids, <laughs> you got you bills to pay. Five, would the answer be the same? What about a lot of money then? Okay, chances stock? are you're not going to have a lot of money, sorry to say, but your risk tolerance changes as you get older. As, as When you're young, you have no bills to pay and you can just spend your money on whatever. But when you're older, you have stuff to pay and you can't really lose money. Okay, so my story. So um, in this class, we had a stock market simulator game. So I thought, man, these penny stocks sound really good. I'm going to get to the top right away, right? So I invested in a penny stock. I lost $40,000 the next day. Uh, yeah, it was a simulation, but I went down 40% in one day because of penny stocks. Like they're not always a game. Again, I've made $40,000 in a day off this thing but there is a really high chance you're gonna lose it. So if you can't afford to lose it, don't even take the risk. Learn your lesson from here first, don't yeah. yourself. Okay, so we're gonna do a game now. Everybody stand up. Can we get the lights on? Turn the lights on. Okay, so in a minute, you're gonna see three or four stock charts come up onto the screen. Click next. So based on what we've told you, the top two stocks are blue chip and the bottom two are penny stocks. Based on the stock chart, what do you think is going to happen? There's corners one, two, three, and four. If you think choice one is going to go up, walk over to corner one, and likewise with the reds. There's two. No, there's no energy at all. Are you guys two or one? They're unclear on the instructions, uh, help them. Okay. I'll be one, I'm one. So if you think stock one is gonna go up based on the chart, you're gonna walk over to choice one. If you think uh, the second chart is gonna go up, you're gonna walk to corner two. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Four, three, three. Okay, uh, sure. what, uh, why did you choose choice one? Because it's a lot steadier than yeah, choice so two is blue chip too. Why did you choose two? Wait, why did you choose two? Oh, we do have something at number two. Why did you choose that? I chose two because it's already low, yeah. and depending on like the risk factor, like it's probably gonna go up. Yeah. What I think. Yeah, it's yeah. Right. not a ball or something. Yes. I mean, I better get some chocolate. Can't do that. Not a ball player. He's, 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 he's a stock market guy. <laughs> round two. So so we're we're doing the same thing again. For this round. You can see choice two, yeah. really awesome. choice two went up because it is blue chip. It is a steady stock, and uh, it was down. Okay, so so two. the same thing. You're gonna walk over to the uh, corner, 
uh, which stock you think is going up. Choice one, the CEO, or the head, um, the owner of the company got voted out by the shareholders. Same thing with choice two, got voted out by shareholders. And choice four, weed is legalized. And choice three, talk of weed is legalized. Oh, four. Yeah, four, four, four. Four, four. Remember, don't be a follower. Doing oh, wow. Okay. No, it's not about if I'm here or not. Okay, you guys are at choice two. Why did you choose that one? It was going down, so I thought like maybe it'd go up again after. Yeah. Also, it was on a steady path down, but the owner of the company, the one who makes all the all the decisions, got voted out. So that's likely to go back up. Uh, choice three. I don't, I don't know, know. I like the number. You what? I like the number. Oh, you like the number? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Choice four. People are hyped for weed. People are hyped for weed. Okay. So, choice three. That one would have gone up the most. Right after talks of weed um, being legalized, it jumped way up. But because you didn't give an answer, you don't get candy. <laughs> okay, there you go. You like the number. I don't like the reason. Okay, and one more round with this. Yeah, on our final round. So choice one is going to be the McDonald's stock. Choice two, the Coke. Choice four is tech. And choice three is weed. If you give a good enough explanation, I will give you. Yeah, because there are reasons to invest in any of these. Um, gray shirt. Why did you choose number three? All the commentators. Oh, is this the weed one? <laughs> no, that's ten. Choice three is just ten. They're trying to beat. Okay. The blue shirt. Why did you choose this? Um, I mean, it looks like a, a safer option. A safer option, even though it's a penny stop? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Because when new technology is released, it uh, usually goes way up. Yeah, and this stock is down a lot, so it's likely to go back up. Choice one, I haven't talked to Stripe. Oh, because it's like McDonald's bigger industry will go up in the summertime. Yeah, all the drink days. <laughs> yeah, that's a good reason. <laughs> okay, so you guys get all the explanations of that. I'm kind of, kind of wrapped up here, but as you see, you learn some new terms such as blue chip and penny stocks. You're probably going to forget it, but. You know, it's something cool to learn. Um, we've got examples such as Coca-Cola, McDonald's, blue chips, and weed technology. Weed and technology is penny stocks that are really risky. And the risk tolerance kind of benefits how old you are, or you know, portrays how. Risk tolerance. Okay, risk tolerance. So pretty much, risk tolerance relates to how um, your age is or what your life status is like. So if you're really old and you have children, you're most likely not to invest in weed stocks, right? But if you're doing, uh, let's say you're really young, a new entrepreneur, you're obviously gonna be more risky because you don't have that much to lose as a, a parent. Their risk tolerance would be really low because they have to pay for your education, they have to pay for uh, retirement. retirement, and they have to save up money, right? And that concludes our presentation. Thank you for listening. Yeah, thank you for coming. Thank you.